Hi, this is Eli Bartley with Dan User. Today we're going to be talking about how to check, recharge, and relieve the nitrogen pressure in your Dan User Hornet. These instructions are applicable to a T7 and a T8RR. First, we'll start with how to check the pressure. Now the tools you'll need for this job is an adjustable wrench and the nitrogen fill gauge that is supplied with the unit. So just real quick, we'll go over this fill gauge. It has, of course, the gauge, a plunger, a pressure relief screw, and a fill port cap. So to check the pressure, you want to go to the left-hand side, at the very top of the power cell, and remove the hex cap plug with your adjustable wrench. Next, you'll take your fill port gauge, pull the plunger all the way out, and thread it in to the power cell. You'll want to make sure the fill port cap and the pressure adjusting screw are both tight, and then press in on the plunger. You check the reading of the nitrogen pressure. The nitrogen pressure should be set to 232 PSI or 16 bar. If the pressure is set where it needs to be, we'll move on. If not, check out the next portion of this video about recharging the nitrogen cell. So once you have the reading you want, make sure the plunger is pulled all the way out. Slowly open the pressure relief screw, you'll hear a short burst of air. If it's not a short burst, you didn't have the plunger pulled out all the way, and you'll have to recharge the power cell. Once the pressure gauge reads zero with the plunger pulled out, you can unscrew the gauge and reinstall the hex cap plug with your adjustable wrench. And that concludes how to check the nitrogen pressure in your Dan User Hornet. Hi, this is Eli Bartley with Dan User. Today we're going to be talking about how to recharge the nitrogen pressure in your Dan User Hornet. This video is applicable to both T7 and T8RR post drivers. So to get started, the things we'll need, we're going to need the nitrogen bottle, which is provided with the unit. We're going to need the nitrogen charging kit, which is also provided with the unit. It comes with the nitrogen fill gauge assembly and the nitrogen fill hose. You also need an adjustable wrench and a strap, chain, or bungee to secure the nitrogen bottle to the driver while you're doing the charging portion. So, First thing we're going to do is take our adjustable wrench and remove the hex cap plug on the top left hand side of the power cell. Next we're going to take the fill gauge assembly, make sure the plunger is pulled all the way out, make sure the pressure adjusting screw is screwed all the way in, and you can go ahead and remove the the fill port cap. You'll make sure all the connections are nice and clean so you're not contaminating your power cell. Go ahead and install the fill gauge into the power cell. Make sure that plunger is pulled all the way out. Next you can take the fill hose and install it on the fill gauge. Of 
Once the fill hose is installed, you want to take your nitrogen bottle and, and take care with the nitrogen bottle not to pick it up by the cap or, and try to keep it vertical as well. You take it and place it on the top of the ballast box. Take a strap, bungee some way to secure the bottle to the power cell. Once the bottle is secured to the driver, go ahead and remove the cap. Then kind of orient the bottle to where the, the valve isn't pointing towards any bystanders or yourself. Take the end of the hose and your adjustable wrench and install it on the bottle. Right, once you have that snugged up, come back over here to the fill port gauge. Like I, said, like I mentioned earlier, make sure that pressure adjusting screw is all the way in. Go ahead and press the plunger all the way in. See where you're at. Next, you're going to want to add nitrogen to the breaker. You want to make sure that plunger is pushed all the way in. And what you're going to do is open the valve on the nitrogen bottle slowly and watch the gauge as it rises. You want to hit 16 bar or 232 PSI. And if you go a little bit over, we'll show you how to get that back down to where it needs to be, but you don't want to crank that valve open. You just want to open it real nice and slow. So, with the plunger pushed all the way in, slowly open that nitrogen valve. All right. So, Right now we're sitting at about 17 bar. If you press back in on that plunger and open the pressure adjusting screw and slowly bleed it off until you get to the desired pressure. Once you have the pressure set where it needs to be, make sure that plunger is pulled all the way out. You use that pressure adjusting screw again and slowly open it. You'll hear a short burst of nitrogen. If it's a prolonged hissing sound, that means you do not have the plunger pulled all the way out and the valve didn't seat, and you'll have to start back over. So once you hear a short burst of air, you'll see the pressure gauge read zero. Next, you grab your adjustable wrench and remove the hose from the nitrogen bottle. With the hose removed and the valve completely off, we'll reinstall the cap. Once the cap is reinstalled, you can remove your strap. Always keep the nitrogen bottle stored in a safe location. Never leave it attached to the Hornet while you're driving. Next, we'll want to remove the rest of the fill hose from the fill gauge assembly. And then remove the fill gauge. Then we'll take our hex cap plug and our adjustable wrench and reinstall it in the power cell. All 
All right, and that concludes how to recharge your Danes or Hornet with nitrogen. Hi, this is Eli Bartley with Dan User. Today we're going to be talking about how to relieve the nitrogen pressure out of your Dan User Hornet. This video is applicable to both T7 and T8 RR post drivers. The only things we'll need to do this is an adjustable wrench and the nitrogen fill gauge kit that comes with the driver. We'll start off with taking off the hex cap plug on the top left hand side of the power cell. Next, you'll take your fill gauge assembly. You want to make sure the pressure adjusting screw and the fill port cap are snug. Make sure the plunger is pulled all the way out. And then install the fill port gauge into the power cell. Once the gauge is installed, you press in on the plunger. You'll see what pressure is inside the power cell. To relieve all the pressure, you'll want to make sure that plunger is pushed in and slowly open up the pressure adjusting screw. You'll hear the nitrogen start to hiss out and you'll want to keep letting that happen until the needle reads zero on the pressure gauge. All right, now that the pressure gauge reads zero with the plunger pushed all the way in, the nitrogen pressure is completely relieved from the power cell. Now you'll want to make sure that you follow this procedure before making any repairs to the power cell. Now you can go ahead and remove the fill port gauge and then reinstall the hex cap plug with your adjustable wrench. This concludes how to relieve the nitrogen pressure from your Dan user Hornet. I'd like to thank you for watching. Please refer to your operator's manual with any questions. And as always, visit us at danuser.com and contact us by phone or email with any questions. Thank you.